Yo, squad, what the fuck is up? It's your boy, Pino E here, and yo, my left stroke just went viral, but we're not gonna talk about that. Instead, you're gonna hit the like button, and I'm gonna get this thing started. We're gonna start with Adidas, and as a grown-ass man, I never in my life wanted to talk about Dragon Ball fucking Z, yet here I am. Listen, I don't know shit about Dragon Ball Z, but Adidas is making some shoes inspired by the show, and today, here's a look at the Adidas Pro Fair, inspired by Cell, who's some kind of badass villain, along with the Adidas Young One, inspired by Frieza. I don't know the exact dates or prices, I don't care about this shoe, I don't care about this show, but look for the collection which includes 8 pairs to drop sometime in August. Next up, we got these, and this is cool, I really like what Adidas did here, but it's also kind of stupid maybe, and I'll explain. What we have up on screen are the Adidas EQT Support 93 Berlin, inspired by the public transportation company Berliner. Ready for this? I'm gonna try. Berkers Betrieb. What makes this pair unique is that the design found on the TPU support matches the seat covers used for the transit company. But also cool is that each pair has an annual season ticket good from January 16th to December 31st on the tongue. So as long as you're wearing your one of 500 pair, you get free transit. But what's not so smart is that we all know that China can knock off anything and they will knock off everything. So when an additional 10,000 pairs start making their way onto the buses, that's not gonna go so well. Anyway, the pair releases exclusively to Overkill on January 16th for 180 euro. Here's a shoe I do like, and although we've already seen images of the Pharrell Adidas NMD HU Trail Holly, today we got some new looks and a date. Apparently this pair is one half of a pack, and it comes sporting a tie-dye graphic upper and chalk coral flash green and lab purple. I like these, I like the colors, I like the silhouette, and if you like them as well, look for them to drop on March 2nd for $250. Over to Saucony, and back in 2012, Soulbox and Saucony teamed up to release the model known as the Pink Devil. And the colorway is coming back, but this time on the all-new Shadow 5000 EVR. The pair comes in a black and pink colorway featuring a knit upper and the new Everrun midsole for added cushioning and flexibility sitting on a gum bottom. I like them, they're dope. Look for them on January 17th, exclusive to Soulbox Berlin, and on January 18th globally at select Saucony retailers. Let's head on over to Nike, and first up we have a look at another Nike VaporMax TN that once again features gradient color blocking. This time around the pair blends from yellow on the toe to green to blue on the heel, paired up with the white cage, white mid, and VM Air logo on the heel. There's no word on the date for these just yet, but they're coming sometime this year, so stay tuned. Next up, and thanks to Hiroshi Fujiwara, we got a first look of what might be up next for Fragment. What we're looking at is the Fragment Design Nike Cortez, which appears to be constructed of an off-white see-through mesh paired with leather overlays on the toe and lacing system. Making this pair unique, the shoe also features flywire cabling and FGMT text. I'm usually not big on the Cortez, and even though I wouldn't buy them, I think they're dope. There's no date just yet, so stay tuned. And last up for Nike, we have the official images of the Kendrick Lamar Nike Cortez Kenny 1. Before we get into this, there are currently no plans to release the Don't Trip red colorway, so don't ask. But back to these. Kinda plain and K-Dot deserve better, but the shoe comes in a white leather upper featuring red stitching throughout and a black tongue. For this pair, the medial swoosh is removed and both the tongue tag and the medial side feature Kendrick's album title, Damn. The pair will release to retailers and on the sneakers app on January 26th for $100, and I have no idea if these are limited or not. Over to Jordan Brand, and we don't really got shit to talk about, except for these two photoshops put together by Jays Are Dead. It looks like Jordan Brand isn't quite yet done with the 12, as they have a couple pairs releasing later in the year. The first of the two will come in a gym red, gym red, and black colorway, while the other in a similar but different university blue, metallic gold, and black colorway. Both pairs drop in October, both pairs will retail for $190, and both pairs will not be making their way to my collection. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.